within us. There is the urge of God to be born through us into the world. It is individual relative to us. So it's, it is look, God is looking to be born into the world through our thoughts and our feelings and through our actions. And what I want to put to you this morning is that you're living with that every moment of your life. Every moment of your life, you're living with that urge. Everything in you, at your core, wants to give of itself so that it can be born in the world and be in the world. That is the son or the daughter of God. The son of the, or daughter of God isn't just a particular physical form. It is that presence that is born into the world for an individual when they allow it to be born, when they feel the urge and answer it and give it expression, allow it to be fulfilled through themselves. There is a generosity that wells up from within us all the time that seeks to express through us and give of itself and in that way be born into our world, be born through our thoughts, through our current of emotion, through our acts, and then through our very presence in the world. The God in us wants out, wants to be born. That urge is there every day. It's there with every breath. It's there with every thought. It's there in every moment. That urge, that generous urge is present. The root of the word generosity relates to generation. It's generation of any kind. A creative thought is generosity. When you're sitting there thinking an enlightened thought that's born of the life within you, that's being generous. It's being generative. That thought is bringing something to the world that is creative for other people as well as your own life and creative for the whole world around you. That is generosity. Generosity isn't just doing the good things or the nice things, the things we think we should do. It's following out the urge within us to give. The key to living a regenerative life is being in touch with that urge. It's connecting to it and feeling it, knowing it, and then expressing it, embodying it, acting upon it. Part of that process for us as we grow up to be sophisticated, mature human beings is to discover the ways in which we have self-sabotaged that generosity. Discover the ways that we have found reasons to cut it off and we have suppressed it. Collectively, the God in all of us wants out, wants to walk in this world. When we speak of it individually, we might say that's the son or the daughter of God. Not just us in our immediate physical being, but it's what's born through a human being of God into the world. And then collectively, all together, we could speak of it in this singular. The son of God, the daughter of God, walking in the world, 